So the idea now is, is to decide as a group, um, do we want to join the lawsuit that South Country has? Now we have an option to join them now or wait and then later see how things develop. So the management team went through a few sessions of a pros and cons analysis is what we did. What are the things that would make that desirable for us to do? What are the risks or the downsides of doing that? And basically, here's our recommendation to you at the governing board here. Prime West Health's executive management team conducted a pros and cons analysis regarding whether or not Prime West should join South Country Health Alliance in its lawsuit against DHS. Based on this analysis, Prime West management's recommendation to the Prime West Health Joint Powers Board and the 11 expansion counties is to wait until after having meetings with DHS and the governor's office, then to determine our next steps on that. We feel joining the lawsuit at this time would be premature without first having such meetings and could short circuit other options for a positive resolution to the issues of county authority and county based <coughs> purchasing and procurement, which are the basis of our concerns with DHS's competitive procurement processes and decision making, and in part driving the South Country Health Alliance lawsuit. All right, so the motion and second on the table is to not <coughs> file a lawsuit currently against DHS. You want me to read what I yes. said before? Because I had a request to send this out by email too. So, prime, uh, the best the motion is, is right now, um, the recommendation is the Prime West Joint Powers Board in 11 expansion counties is to wait to join the lawsuit until after we've had meetings with DHS and the governor's office to determine our next steps. Um, we feel joining the lawsuit at this time would be premature without first having such meetings and could short circuit other options for a positive resolution to the county authority and county-based purchasing procurement questions that are the basis of our concerns with the DHS competitive procurement processes and decision making. That's essence what the motion would be about. Okay, so those in favor of the motion, of those standing, please raise your hand. Those opposed to the motion, please raise your hand. Motion passes. We stand united. Good. <laughs> Services Finance and or Policy Committees. Um, this is the house on top. And we, we isolated the 13th and 14th where none of them had a committee meeting. So we're looking at November 4th, 13th and 14th as the possible days. It's time now, if we're going to do the summit here, what we'd be doing is talking about county authority, county-based purchasing, what's in current statute, what's threatening this, and how they can help. 